It is currently the evening of the 27th of June, 2021 in the Western Pacific. I want to talk about a few areas out here. Of course, Chompy back here towards the east of Japan. But also we have the Tut, little trough right in there. Uh, around Guam actually firing up some showers in parts of the Mariana Islands. And another tropical wave well towards the south and east of Guam there out in Micronesia. All right, first though, it is Chompy. Now a tropical storm and now... Pretty hard to find here on satellite imagery, right? Uh, if you are uh, and not used to looking at uh, satellite and tropical systems, you're probably thinking, okay, what is this? Well, actually, it is right in there. That's where Chompy is at this time. Uh, continuing to get wrapped up with the rainy season front, pulling off towards the north and east. Still bringing some coastal showers in parts of Japan, but all in all, uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center already issued their final warning on this. JMA is still tracking it since it is closer to Japan, but I mean, they got 35 knot wind. Barely a tropical storm and really satellite imagery there. You can see uh, just completely destroyed disrupted really more or less it's the rainy season front i mean you got that it's going to move towards the northeast and another low is going to develop along the front and the tail end of this bring some more showers as we go ahead through tuesday heading into wednesday for coastal honshu including there into tokyo so uh it, you know it's less about the uh tropical storm here and more about that mayu bayou front uh, in the picture for japan back towards the south though in the philippines look at this june 30th through july 6th so we're talking about uh next week really uh, from the Climate Prediction Center, they still say there is an above average chance of tropical development, at least a moderate risk, uh, there in the Philippine Sea. There is some guidance, and I'll get to that in a second, but uh, really, you know, that's probably where we're going to see it around Guam out there towards northern Luzon, if anything does pop up. This is the GFS Ensemble, basically the model, which has really been hinting for almost a week now at some sort of development into early July. And uh, the key thing with it, yeah, the model is picking it up on it. By the way, this is SpaghettiOs. If you watch my videos, you know I love these. And what I mean by SpaghettiOs, this is the ensemble. So when you look at the GFS model and we show you these pretty pictures of like, okay, here's the wind, here's where the rain's going. Uh, that's an ensemble. The GFS, when it runs the computer, the supercomputers, it puts out like 100 outputs and they average them all together and that's when you get your pretty pictures this is kind of the output so and what this tells me is confidence if you see all the outputs really on top of each other shows high confidence it's kind of moderate it does pop up a couple lows in here but they're all spread out and it kind of pulls it off in this direction so this is really good when we're talking about long range forecasting because it gives you an idea instead of one single output here it gives you kind of an idea of what the, the multiple outputs are showing and uh, i like using this in the extended forecast it gives you kind of a clear and also you know what goes on historical data is great in extended forecasting because this is back on june 25th all right so still pretty relevant uh where our systems are typically this time of year and typically they are in that particular region of the Western Pacific. So historical data and long range guidance kind of jiving and what we're gonna be looking at for the potential of a tropical system there in early July. So plenty of time to watch it though. We I mean, we still got another week now, but I'm gonna keep it on in that little tropical wave way out there, not uncommon for development in this area. The next team name would be Infa or Imong in the Philippines. Cause of course, if this did move towards Luzon, it would, um, be uh named by pagasa thank you very much everybody on patreon oh i have to update the typhoon category Lori caldwell just uh signed up for the uh, typhoon category thank you very much Lori. i'll add you right there in that slot once i get around to it you guys are legends everybody always helps me out the super typhoons as well you're all my heroes here uh you're making this better making this possible i am <laughs> i keep on saying i'm that much closer to getting a new graphic package but i i really am <laughs> it really am. Uh, it looks like some things are finally coming together with Metro Weather. I'll give you guys, I'll, I'll fill you in more when the final pieces are in a place. It's just, it stinks. Sometimes uh, you got to be patient and sometimes you just got to kind of roll with the punches and hopefully we can, we rolled with the punches enough that uh, we got some good things coming our way for this YouTube channel. So if you guys want to help us out though, check out the Patreon. I'll put a link down below, uh, make that possible. Twitter, Facebook as well. Uh, that's where I post a lot of those intermediate updates. And you want to share some weather photos too, you can check out Facebook, uh, Robert Spetta Weather. You can send me photos there. As always though, thanks for watching. And the key thing is stay safe out there.